So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to tap the elbow joint of this patient. That's presumptive gout. And so we're trying to get some fluid to see if he has some uric acid crystals. Um, what we're going to do is the landmarks we're going at. It's a lateral epicondyle and we're going just distal to it. We're trying to get into the triangle between the lateral epicondyle, the radial, and the ulna. And there's a little triangle where that you can fit in there. So it's about that spot right there. We have the patient 90 degree flexed with his hand um, pronated to give us the best access point. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some numbing medication. We're using lidocaine. Sir, you're going to feel a stick and a burn, okay? Two, three. So the arm swelling's been going on how long? Mm -hmm. The arm swelling's been going on how long? Oh, about two days. Two days. A little bit more. He's had some joint swelling in the past, is that true? Mm-hmm, yes. So he may, he may carry a diagnosis of gout, but he's got marked limitation in range of motion on this elbow. Has he had a fever? Uh, I don't know. Just a lot of sweat, sweating. So Eric, you want to tell us what you're doing? Sure. So I'm going to tap this elbow. Um, looking for crystals, a suspected gout patient. Um, landmarks I'm using is I'm using the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. I'm trying to come right between the ulna and the radial bone. It forms a triangle right here. So I'm trying to thread right between those three bones. And you have the patient flex at 90 degrees and, and the arm prone. Prone, make the arm. Okay. have to march it like you're doing it, I think, till you, till you find it. Is that hurting? No pain? No pain? You don't feel nothing? Good. Did a nice job of anesthesia. Alright, I think, I think that's all we're going to get.